The solitude of an artist at work. Clay from the earth is shaped and molded by his hands. A vision created. The beauty with clay is you can add and subtract and you constantly, you know, it's not like uh, working in stone where once it's done, it's done. Art is unique to the individual artist. Only Mel's eyes can bring form to his dream. This two-foot sculpture is a model for the eight-footer to come. To me, it's like uh, when I do a painting, I do a study first. And this is basically a study for the sculpture, you know, uh, because you, you, need, you need something to really, you know, have to give you guidelines before you go to the big one. Months later, the big one dwarfs the model. It is spring of 93, and Mel's dream is closing in on reality. To do a large one now is really one of my, one of the things that I've always wanted to do, you know, the last, since I started doing them. Because there's something about the scale of a huge one that uh, is gonna be fun to see. It is fall now, the sculpture is about to be cast. At Arizona Bronze, Mel's giant clay sculpture has been cut up into dozens of molds. Liquid metal ready to fill the void. What we're gonna do is pour the bronze at about 2150 degrees into a hot silica uh, shell mold. Uh, it'll be a one-shot deal. If it doesn't work, uh, we have to start from the get-go. With surprising precision, the casts are poured the darkness of the night adding to the mystery. Mel sees this process as another art form in itself. It takes on a life of its own. It's something new. It's, it's got a spirit of a lot of guys working hard on here. You know, this is tough work here. Once cool, the various parts need to be assembled. As Mel's sculpture nears completion, the flickering light of the arc welder seems to bring his creation to life. 